Ashwin. Hi. So good to hear. Same here. So Shweta, I know you have been a vegan for about four years. Yes, around four years now. All right. So uh, I would like to ask you, what made you go vegan in the first place? Uh, well, I uh, am born in a Jain family mm-hmm. and I was also an animal lover since childhood because I have been raised with a dog uh, in my house and for and he was with us for 17 long years. And so I used to consider myself always a compassionate person. I was also a rescuer. I used to feed dogs and cats in my area. Uh, but then uh, one fine day when I got to know about dairy industry cruelty, uh, I was shocked. I mean, I couldn't believe actually and uh, even after watching all the uh, posts and uh, you know, knowing all the facts about dairy industry, I, I still couldn't believe. So I researched for quite a long time. I got into the depth of the uh, dairy industry uh, information and then one final day I got to know that yes, dairy is, uh, <laughs> dairy is beef. <laughs> That's my video uh, title. So I got to know that yes, dairy is cruel. Dairy is also the reason that so many cattle are slaughtered. So this is how yeah I, I became vegan and there was no looking back then. Uh, those, those who are vegetarian, are vegetarian mm-hmm. they find it quite a surprise mm-hmm. that there is any quality involved in consuming dairy. Correct. Because they think you are not killing an animal yourself. You're true. Just taking the milk. Mm-hmm. Yes, true. Say? Yeah, so we've all been uh, told the same thing. Even I used to believe the same thing. So I wouldn't uh, 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 blame them. Well, even uh, I was in the uh, darkness for so many years. And I used to think that, okay, dairy is so humane. Uh, we are just taking milk, we are not harming, we are taking care of these cattle, of their babies. We have so many gaushalas, and, uh, but this is all a lie, a big lie. So in the first place, we have no right to take a mother's milk. We have no right to steal a baby's milk. And on top of it, we enslave them, we torture them, we take away their uh, 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 right of freedom. Uh, then we give them injections every day oxytocin injections we uh, give them so many hormonal injections then uh, we rape them yes we literally rape them we uh, and you know people call it artificial insemination but in other words it's clear rape and uh, yeah and we we send male calves to slaughterhouses so all this is i wouldn't call this as vegetarian or pure vegetarian this is just a myth that people are living in that uh, it's all uh, uh, humane or it's it's good and milk is pure and all that crap. But then milk is totally against the principles of ahimsa. It is totally against the principle of ethics. Or uh, uh, if a person believes in compassion, then definitely, uh, you know, milk is something that should be against a person's will. And uh, I think uh, dairy industry is even more cruel than uh, non veg industry than meat industry, egg industry. So, yeah, people don't know actually. And of course, you know, after uh, uh, these cows and buffaloes, they stop giving milk. They're sent to slaughterhouse. So we are also the reason for for their murder. So it's definitely not a vegetarian thing or a compassionate thing. I know, Shweta, you once visited a slaughterhouse. Yes, yes, I did. Do you want to describe what it was like? So people uh, are very desensitized when it comes to uh, enslavement of animals and when animals are kept in cage and all. But then when we literally stepped in a slaughterhouse, we were, we just, I I, I personally couldn't control my emotions Mm -hmm. because that was something like animals were telling me, like, what have you done to us? You know, I mean, they were so scared. I couldn't even uh, uh, have guts to touch them or to uh, comfort them because uh, I had this constant feeling that I cannot help them, I cannot do anything and uh, these animals are just going to be killed in a few seconds or few minutes 
and they scream but then nobody cares and this is what you know killed me from inside that day i was like i couldn't understand how can we be so so cruel and so insensitive about their suffering but then yeah this is the reality we live in we have been conditioned since childhood and uh, yeah and all those cows and maybe buffaloes mhm they are also sent to the slaughterhouse yes of course and this is why india is the largest exporter of beef and people don't realize this and there is this is not a coincidence that india is also the largest uh, it has the largest production of milk here in india people consume milk like crazy we have milk in literally everything we have all the mithai sweets everything made in milk we pour milk on idols we use milk literally like crazy and people don't realize that this is all uh, you know resulting into breeding of crores and crores of cattle and then obviously they all end up in slaughter houses so the main culprit is milk and the root cause is dairy and people don't realize that also from uh, environment point of view also production of milk hmm it's quite a strain on environment right Yes of course because uh, uh animal agriculture is said to be the main largest uh, reason for deforestation and uh, uh so amazon fires and all these things were not a coincidence all this was done for our animal agriculture and uh, we uh, people still are in denial but then this is the main cause dairy industry as well as meat industry mm. yeah when, when you decided Oh, weekend. What adjustments you made in your life? Oh well, uh, initially it was difficult because uh, being born in a Jain family, people think uh, we don't really consume non-veg, so it's very easy for a vegetarian to convert vegan because we don't consume a lot of meat, only consume dairy. But then the consumption of dairy is very high. So cutting down on dairy is I totally understand not very easy. It takes time. and i was skeptical also about my health because at that point of time when i turned vegan 4 years back i didn't know uh, anything about calcium because since childhood you have been indoctrinated that you know you need calcium and calcium is all in milk so we need calcium for strong bones and all that so even my parents and everyone was against me they were like are you mad you can't you can't just stop having milk and milk products you'll become sick you'll have calcium deficiency protein deficiency and all that crap but then uh, of course it was the other way around when i turned vegan in fact i became even more healthier <laughs> healthier my energy level uh, uh, was high i am also a trekker by the way so uh, and i also was like all my stomach problems everything was gone my health got better of course there was there were only and only benefits from the health point of view Mhm. Mhm. And your family? And your family? How did they My family Yeah. How did they respond and adjust? So, of course, when uh, when they got to know about the cruelty part, uh they had nothing to say because this is the fact and they know now. But uh, initially they were quite reluctant uh and uh, they did not want to accept this fact but they were like okay whatever you want to do you do it we won't stop you but now is the time that they have uh, reduced the consumption uh and uh, before i think we used to get a lot of dairy product in the house now using tea otherwise they've stopped consuming milk yeah i think we are because even they see the good side of uh, conditioned exactly everyone is conditioned yes even we were conditioned so yeah it happens it takes time for a person to you know come out of this uh, societal conditioning which is like uh, the ideology hmm yeah you have made many videos you have made many videos uh creating yes. awareness creating about the uh, dairy about industry the dairy industry you want to mention yes. those you want to mention those Yeah so I've made videos not only for dairy industry but all the other cruel industries but then yes I started with uh, uh dairy is beef video which went viral 
and which got lot of popularity mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. well at that point of time when this video came out not many people knew about dairy industry because until then uh, the uh, the cruel side was mm-hmm. hidden but then uh, now of course i mean uh, after that video there were many people who got to know and i uh, i even got so many calls so many messages saying that you know after after watching this video they've turned vegan they didn't know uh, this part mm-hmm. of dairy at all mm-hmm. uh, so yeah that video made a lot of difference for uh, uh, the world for viewers and even for us actually that gave me also a lot of confidence to make more and more videos mm-hmm. because uh yeah, because, using uh, the digital medium using the digital medium to yes uh, get people into thinking get people into thinking true mm-hmm. and since and then you have been since then you have been also doing many also doing activities, many to, activities create to create awareness create awareness yes. tell us more about that tell us more about that so yeah uh, now now i i'm sure you must be knowing about ufc a foundation mm-hmm. So, what's a full form uh, what's a full form it's united for compassion international mm-hmm. foundation mm-hmm. and uh, we do a lot of activities in terms of uh, awareness mm. so we do street outreaches we do uh, potlucks we do a screening of movies documentaries um we do um, call it lectures corporate lectures lot of things you know whatever it takes to uh, uh, put this information out and along with that uh, we also do lot of online activism mm. which has poster making and video making and stuff like that mm. so i think whenever it comes to uh, creating awareness mm-hmm. we are totally open to it and whatever it takes we we just go for it do you want to kind of uh, kind share of, some uh, stories share some of stories interactions with people interactions with people yeah of course so uh, when uh, uh, back then when i used to do outreaches uh, uh, that was 4 years back uh, people didn't even know the word vegan mm. and they were like quite surprised some people even used to say yes yes i'm vegan i'm vegan since childhood and i was surprised okay are you serious since childhood and they were like yeah yeah of course we are vegan since childhood pure vegan and i was like i do you mean vegetarian they were like yes mm. <laughs> so they didn't have any idea about vegan mm. but then now when we interact with people they already know what is vegan mm. so there's there's been a lot of lot of awareness that has been created in these 4 mm-hmm. years mm-hmm. and uh, now people know the dark side of uh, all these industries mm-hmm. and people are receptive they are quite receptive so this is the biggest change i've seen in uh, uh, people's mind and people's perspective towards these industries and they accept that yeah we are doing wrong to animals it's just that changing the lifestyle changing habits is a bit difficult for everyone and we do help them we have a support group we uh, do uh, provide them all the information and uh, recipes and whatever they need so this is how people have been uh, very positive about this side and they accept that a uh, veganism is the way it's is the right way and uh, to be aligned with your ethics and uh, yeah what are the common what questions the common they ask questions they ask so uh, in the first place people were like very uh, uh, surprised when they got to know uh, the actual uh, like you know they they obviously know it's cruel but they didn't know uh, everything in detail so they always have these questions why do we do this to animals and uh, uh, definitely nobody wants these things to be done to animals so then uh, we obviously tell them it's all because of demand it's all because of our uh, taste and our comfort that we demand and we are supporting these industries we pay these people to be cruel to them mm. and uh, yeah. obviously when demand arises when uh, uh, so obviously there'll be more and more cruelty more and more exploitation to these animals which is totally unavoidable so it's all about uh, the demand and supply chain and uh, they also come up with questions like you know is it uh, uh, good to have plant based milk is it okay to have almond milk cashew milk because they don't even know that uh, these products i mean uh, milk can be made with these products hmm. so but then uh, see the uh, the level of conditioning that we have we don't even question when we are drinking another species milk That's but right. we question when we are drinking plant based milk and people don't even know that this is actually good for us and uh, 
a mother's milk which is not for us is definitely not good for us as well so people don't realize that do they also, do they also ask you about ask leather you about industry leather industry yeah so we do uh, uh, tell them about leather industry about honey about uh, uh, wool industry there are so many other industries which exploits animals and they do ask but then uh, uh, they are more concerned about uh, food because this is something which uh, is our daily habit so leather is sometimes okay with people they they don't mind using leather but then uh, dairy and uh, meat is something that they don't want to you know give up so often people have often idea people that have leather idea is that not cruel it's just the dead animals the dead skin. animals skin. yeah so this is the biggest misconception that people have mm-hmm. uh, leather is far more cruel that people can ever imagine because uh, animals are skinned alive mm. and mm. Uh, because uh, when animal dies you know the body becomes stiff it's not only for humans it's for every single living being when they die the body becomes stiff mm. and mm. stiff body is definitely not very useful for these industries so more softer the skin uh, more the money mm-hmm. and more the demand and uh, this is why even uh, uh, the skin of calf mm-hmm. is sold uh, on a very high level mm. so this is how you know animals are uh, killed and uh, used for leather so they're skinned alive and people don't even know that oh, i see what about yeah. the wool what about the wool so even for wool of course you know animals are exploited they are uh, caged they are uh, they are uh, you know if you if you watch certain videos which has uh, the procedure how they they remove wool from their body Uh, they have so many marks so many injuries on their body and they obviously for them they are objects animals are just used as objects so they don't care if the animal is hurt while uh, removing wool and they are uh, exploited to a level where uh, uh, they don't even care if the animal is uh, given freedom or given proper food or water mm. for them it's just a product uh, just an object mm. and they are used as commodity so every uh, industry that uses animal products is cruel and people don't know about it mm. yeah tell us some of tell the some remarkable, of the remarkable transformations, transformations stories that you stories have that you Uh, come across come in the last four years. Last four years. So uh, there are many actually, but the recent one, which is very fresh in my mind, I can share that. So I was in the train and I met a girl, and uh, I just explained her about uh, uh, all these industries uh, because uh, uh, I I saw uh, some uh, uh, something on a T-shirt which says Shamok, and I I just got into a conversation. Are you a dancer or something? and she said yes i said okay i am when i am a dancer and stuff like that and then i just started with the conversation on these cruel industries and she was a vegetarian and and i told her about dairy industry she was very shocked to know about dairy industry i think she is just 18 or 19 year old hmm. Hmm. and uh, she said i was lied all my life i i had no idea about these things and i never thought on on the idea that uh, uh, consuming an animal's milk is so wrong hmm. stealing away a baby's milk is so wrong so after listening to the entire conversation uh, she she I, i had no idea then i left i went home mm-hmm. obviously we took her number mm-hmm. and then later she just messaged and she said uh, i cried Uh, i am shocked after uh, listening to whatever you said and then i just want to not only be vegan but i want to join activism i even want to help animals and i want to join your group and spread this awareness spread the message and not only that when she went home she told her mom i am not going to consume any milk product and her mom was little surprised she said are you mad who met you who told you all that crap it's not true so what they did is they researched they and when they researched when they saw all the facts about dairy industry not only her but her mom also cried hmm. and uh, they both of them uh, turned up in a, one of our potluck they both uh, uh, took a pledge that they will never touch any dairy product they cried and uh, they were very disheartened to know how cruel we are how cruel we treat animals hmm. yeah. uh, but then uh, yeah this was the best ever uh, transformation you know happened last 
month fantastic i also fantastic. saw there was a post was on a, post a restaurant, restaurant coming up in some part of maharashtra oh yes 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 so uh, uh thanks to dairy's beef mm-hmm. <laughs> that it is still having uh, ripple effects uh so uh many people have gone vegan and this guy uh his name is roop song uh, roop singh choudhary mm-hmm. he is from jalgaon acha and uh, he called me a couple of months back saying that uh, uh thank you so much for making this video aapka video dekh ke main bahut khush ho gaya aur uh, maine meri puri life change ho gayi and he was very uh, uh, thankful he said i had no idea about these industries and i've gone vegan my whole family is a non vegetarian but then i decided not to consume any animal products not even dairy hmm. and then he has been thinking about opening a restaurant since 2 uh, years and then he decided to uh, start a vegan restaurant uh, in spite of the fact that no a person in his family was supportive hmm. they all said vegan restaurant mein to koi aayega nahi people will not support there are people who don't even know what is vegan they want to have animal products they want to have dairy products but then he was uh, very strong with his decision mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, he just started a vegan restaurant a uh, few months ago and he called me again few days back Mm-hmm. he told me uh, that his restaurant is running very very well wow it's always wow. full mm. people are loving the food and they have no problem having uh, a vegan food and uh, having uh, uh, no animal products or having no dairy and uh, he said in fact i uh, always get a chance to interact with people and tell them about uh, these cruel industries and this is how uh, in jalgaon also people are now aware about these industries and not only them but then even his cook Hmm. Uh, and he said his cook knows something around three thousand five hundred dishes, and that I was surprised to know that. Wow! wow. Uh, yeah, so three thousand five hundred dishes include uh, non-vegetarian and vegetarian dishes. Oh. And even after knowing all that, uh, when he got to know about these industries, he also decided to go vegan, and now he's trying to master himself in vegan dishes. Wow. So this guy yeah this guy also spoke to me and he was very open uh, to learn new uh, recipes new uh, uh vegan uh, dishes so that made me like you know uh, <laughs> be on the top of the world I was like so happy and this was something which is which is such a such an amazing thing because you need a lot of guts to start a restaurant in a village where uh, people are uh, you know people are considered to be closed minded they don't have access to much of information mm. and they are kind of very uh, stubborn you know but then still he decided and you know he proved that anything can be possible in this world so there are so like there are a like lot of lot vegan of replacements to meat chicken, chicken fish, fish eggs, eggs dairy right? right yes so there are mock meats available in market now people don't even know that there are exactly uh, uh similar dishes available which taste exactly like chicken exactly like fish or meat or mutton and uh, that's obviously made out of plant based food uh, some are made of soy or something and we've done outreaches wherein we've made people taste uh, a mock chicken and people were literally surprised and they didn't believe that it, this was not chicken or this was not meat So this is like that close to the real taste of chicken and of course we have so many dairy alternatives as well which is far more better than the dairy products i would say and mm. people don't realize how healthy and how tasty is vegan food mm. Are there any, Are there other, any questions other questions they ask, they ask you know, about, about uh, this cruelty, cruelty to, to animals, animals and so because uh, people have been conditioned uh, um for meat for dairy uh, sorry for meat and for egg industry obviously people know that animals are being killed and uh, uh, so when it comes to dairy industry and sorry for egg industry as well people have no idea what actually happens behind these closed doors so uh, uh, even for egg industry for that matter because uh, male uh, chicks are grounded alive uh they are they are killed just in one day just because they are totally waste for these industries uh and female chicks are beaked uh oh. they are uh, with hot iron and uh, so even chickens are artificially inseminated 
so there's a lot of cruelty behind these industries also and people are not aware so obviously they have a lot of questions uh and uh, and they obviously go home and they research they it's not that you know in today's world nobody can just tell you any random story or any random fact and because information is on your fingertips so people go and research they do have questions but they also go and research and you know clear their facts Uh, do they also, they also ask, ask uh, questions about nutritional aspects, aspects of vegan diet? Yes, they do. Yes, they do mm. because we all are worried about our health first, <laughs> and mm. uh, people definitely want to know what about my calcium, what about my protein, because uh, people don't know that the same amount or even higher amount of protein can be derived from other plant-based sources. So yeah, we uh, always keep our uh, information handy. we do give them all the uh, information with all the plant based food nutritions mm. yeah they do do have questions because this is something which is uh, uh, definitely a subject of uh, you know their concern mm. yeah there's also a lot of exploitation of animals in uh, pharmaceutical industry cosmetic industry yes as well right yes yes 100% Uh, mm. so animal testing is also the most cruelest industry and people don't realize because uh, animals are tortured to literally another level uh it's it's not only rabbits it's monkeys and even dogs beagles so many animals are just used for uh, and it's not only once the people a lot of people have this idea that okay once the product has been uh, launched in the market uh, then there is no sort of cruelty or uh, experiment that goes on on animals but that's that's not true so animals are constantly exploited because these industries have to take lot of care when they launch their product that it should not be harmful to animals or oh, sorry humans so this is how animals are exploited to every level to make sure that the product is safe for humans and that can be launched Mm. Yeah. So, uh, tell us more about how UFCI CI hmm. came about. So, UFCI when uh, we started, we were like only uh, two activists and five activists at that point of time. We just used to do uh, 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 some few outreaches and make videos and stuff like that. But then gradually. Uh, uh, you know we today we have like more than 170 activists they are all vegans and they are all working for this organization uh, selflessly uh, they all they all are professionals some are doctors some are uh, 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 you know businessmen some are students uh, in spite of all the work all the commitments they have they still choose to fight for animal liberation and they are all connected to ufci now and we do a lot of lot of uh, 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 activism and that is every single weekend so every saturday sunday we do uh, activism we do lot of uh, uh, different uh, types of uh, and it's not only activism uh, in team but all these activists do activism on their personal level as well so maybe you know when they meet their family members or their cousins or friends they do activism so now after getting connected with this team after getting into this organization people have literally mm-hmm. become activist and now it it seems like activism is in our blood <laughs> so <laughs> this is how team works you know the activism is literally in their uh, on their mind on their soul every single time so that makes our team even more stronger what are, what the, are the future, future plans, plans for UFCI, UFCI? so our future plans is of course you know uh, the goal is one the mission is one we all want a compassionate world a vegan world where animals are not exploited they are free from all the sufferings so this is our only goal and uh, mm-hmm. we are uh, planning uh, things where we can have larger impact on the uh, audience where we can change uh, people's mind and which can help not only animals but humans as well the environment the earth and uh, of course ourselves so yeah yeah, yeah we I'm are all trying uh, our level best to make this world a better place for everyone 
Wow, wow wonderful, Shweta. Shweta. Yeah, thank you. What message, What message would you like to give to the listeners today? So, uh, now today, because of uh, you know this lockdown, we all are uh, a little worried. We are all bored. Uh, so I would just say that think about the animals, think about uh, their suffering, how they are caged for twenty four seven until they are brutally murdered, uh, how they are kept uh, uh, away from their families, derived of food and water. So uh, when we are lost in our daily routine, when we are so busy in our lifestyle, we don't realize how our daily choices affect these animals. So I would just say that please have some have some compassion in your heart. Think about them. Just give some time to think and put your uh, uh, foot in their shoes and think about how they are uh, going through their entire life with torture, suffering, and so much of pain, where they can't even mm-hmm. speak for themselves. So if you can't help them, at least. at least try your level best to not hurt them by going vegan and if you think that they also need some help and you want to support this cause then join us for activism become an activist because becoming vegan is not enough if you if you really feel sorry then it's time to do something for them yeah thank you very thank much you very much shweta for giving your time today thank you so much for having me thank you so much Thank you.